Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amita Singh and this is part 16 of Elasticsearch. So in today's session, I will be covering the mapping creation in Elasticsearch. So guys, this is a continuation of index creation. So if you haven't watched the, uh, pre my previous session on index creation, then please, then please go ahead and watch. And then we can proceed, then you only you can proceed with the mapping creation. So uh, before proceeding to today's session, guys, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. You can press the subscribe button. You can also press the bell icon to get the notification. So let's see what is mapping. Mapping is the process of defining how a document should be mapped in the into map to the search engine, including its searchable characteristics such such as fields are searchable, which fields are searchable, and if how they are tokenized so guys uh, i in the second video in my second session of elastic search the basic while i was explaining the basic concept i have already covered the mapping part as well so i have taken one example of rdbms and elastic search and i was comparing that in rdbms we have a database we have a table we have column and rows so in the same the same way in the elastic search the database is called the uh, the database is called index the table is called mapping types so today we will be seeing like what mapping types is what it contains means field in the field which field is equal to the column in the database so let's check this out so first let go through the theoretical part and I'll be covering the practical on the Kibana. So fields is a uh, fields are each mapping has a number of fields associated with it, which can be used to control how the document metadata is indexed. So there could be like n number of field associated with it means I can have n number of columns associated with one table. Same way I can have n number of fields associated with one, um, one mapping types. Mapping types means table. So in the fields I can have the types means data types. The data type of each field in the document can be controlled via the mapping, uh, via the type mapping. Now, uh, well, if we have a field right in the if we have a column the column contains some field which might be have which must be having some data type so this is what the types uh, types is the types could be string number object date etc so in today's session i will be covering only the object and nested data type in elastic search so first what is object data type object data type means like uh, guys we all know like uh, in elastic search we have a json we, we create a json document right and json document is nothing but it's all our object it's a hierarchical it is hierarchical in nature this is what it is so the json document are hierarchical in nature the document may contain inner object which in turn may contain inner objects themselves so basically our document which is a way we say like a flattened structure it's it's it is a kind of object in uh, json in json format it's an object so we can have n number of object or inner object inside one um one schema or one table so let's go and see so I have already created one index with, uh, let's delete this index and create it once again. With the type object here I have given. Now just check it out. This is the index name, means database. This is a mapping type, means uh, this is a table name. Inside the table I have a column name, name and skills. Sk uh, the column name name is, um, name is flattened structure. Guys, this is also object, uh, object, uh, you know, inside object creation in mapping. This is also a type of object. So we have, uh, and this in this object we have another object. So this is basically the JSON document is, is hierarchical in nature. So that's how we repre uh, we represent it. So you can see with the name, uh, I have a skills assigned to the name, and that skill. In the scale is an object type which has a property language and type 
So you can come over here and see while I'm creating this document, how I'm creating. I'm giving the name of the name of a person. I'm defining the skills. Now see the skills are array structure means object is nothing but list of array, right? List of array. So this is how I need to give the array uh, structure list of array. This is what it is. Now I've created one document and uh, one record, the second record. Now you can see I'm, I'm giving the language Ruby for first person and level is export. Now for the second person, the language is JavaScript and the level is beginner. For the second person, this is Ruby and beginner. Now I want to fetch the record of the person who is a beginner in Ruby language. So that's here I have written the query. So guys, this is a search query. In the query DSL in Elasticsearch, these how to write a search query I have already covered in my previous sessions. I have, you know, taken a long session on query DSL. If you are not familiar with this, we, you can go ahead and watch that query DSL session on Elasticsearch. So now let's fetch the record. Oh my God, what I'm getting? I'm getting the skills Ruby and the level is beginner. But here, the John does not have a skill. Uh, you know, he is having a skill Ruby, but not level level as a beginner. So that's not uh, the way I want it, right? So what is, you know, what went wrong? Uh, okay, now let's check this out. What has like went wrong? So guys, this is how the inner beauty, inner logic to save in object and nested type. So while I'm saving the data, how my data is getting saved in the elastic search? In the object, if I'm saving any of data, then how it is getting saved? It is saving the name in one column. Uh, one, uh, we have a column called name. I'm saving the name and it has a only one column which is scale dot languages and it is giving it as an array means how it is saving if this person has n number of skills it will be saving in the array with the n number of skills okay and if it ha it, it is having n number of levels it will be saving the n number of levels in one uh, one array so how it works it works like this like this way ruby can be you know mapped with expert or ruby can be mapped with a beginner so that's the reason why i am getting these record over here see simply i'm searching ruby and beginner but i should not get this result but what see because of this uh, i'm getting the result because it is saving the ruby with the it is also mapping the ruby with the beginner so uh, in Elasticsearch point of view, uh, whatever data I'm getting, it's correct. But my requirement is not like this way. So now let's check the nested part. So nested part, how it works, it is uh, defining all my uh, nested, or uh, we can say the array separately. So it is saving all the array list, array list as a separate or as a different section. It is not clubbing all together. If you have n number of skills, it will be saving your n number of skills in the like in this, you know, curly braces n number of curly braces with their this Ruby with this level, this language with this level so means everything will be getting saved separately. So my uh, my requirement will work if i make the type as a nested correct it should work right so let's make it out uh, instead of object i will make this as nested now delete this the object hierarchy didn't work in my scenario because i wanted the result of ruby beginner now now it is nested so guys this query will not work what i have to do i have to give the nested path i have already written over here 
see i have given i have provided the nested path that is skills and the same way the same query this is a query dsl you can go ahead and check it out check out this video as well now that's what i wanted right i want the language ruby and the skill level beginners so this is the right person for my requirement in case of my requirement like whatever i am sending so hope you have differentiated the difference between the object and nested right so guys hope i have made you clear in terms of object and nested if you have any questions you can uh, go ahead and ask in the comment section i will be you know i'll be if you have also if you have any scenario like you want something to you know make a video on i i'm ready to make video on anything which you want just give me your scenario um that's all for today's session if you like my session please press thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe thank you for watching